When in Paris, Emily always stays at the Four Seasons Hotel. Or, when in Paris, Emily stays always at the Four Seasons Hotel. Which sentence is correct? Welcome to English on the Mark. My name is Marek Pena, and today we will focus on adverbs of frequency and their position in a sentence. Different types of adverbs can be placed in different positions in a sentence. In general, adverbs can go at the beginning, in the middle, or at the end of a sentence. While placing adverbs at the beginning or at the end of a sentence is pretty straightforward, adverbs that go in the middle of a sentence might cause some problems for students. And this is exactly what we'll be focusing on in today's lesson. Before we go over the rules, let's look at some examples of adverbs of frequency. Adverbs of frequency include words like always, constantly, usually, often, frequently, sometimes, occasionally, rarely, and never. Okay, rule number one. An adverb of frequency should follow the verb be. In other words, an adverb of frequency should be placed after the verb be, like in this example. Here's the first reason we shouldn't ask why. Researchers have found that no matter how hard we try, we can't excavate our unconscious thoughts, feelings, and motives. And because so much is hidden from our conscious awareness, we end up inventing answers that feel true, but are often very wrong. And here are some other examples. Keith is never late for work. Studying during the summer semester is usually challenging for students. Peter is not always right. Rule number two. If the verb is a one-part verb, a single word verb, an adverb of frequency goes before the verb. Like in the following example. Now, I told you I'm a therapist, and I really am. I'm not being an unreliable narrator. But if I'm, let's say, on an airplane and someone asks what I do, I usually say I'm an editor. And I say that partly because if I say I'm a therapist, I always get some awkward response like, oh, a therapist, are you going to psychoanalyze me? And I'm thinking, A, no, and B, why would I do that here? If I said I was a gynecologist, would you ask if I were about to give you a pelvic exam? And let's look at more examples. We occasionally visit our friends in Florida. David constantly updates his Facebook page. I sometimes read a book before going to bed. Rule number three. Adverbs of frequency usually go after the helping verb. In other words, if the verb has two or more words, for example, must listen, have asked, will try, the adverb usually goes after the first verb. And here is an example of this rule. Now, marketing has done a very, very good job of creating opportunities for impulse buying. We've never created the opportunity for impulse saving. If you did this, more people would save more. It's simply a question of changing the interface by which people make decisions, and the very nature of the decisions changes. Let's look at some other examples. Paul has always lived in Sydney. They might never see each other again. Embrace imperfections. Things will rarely go as planned, so be ready to think on your feet. Okay, 
So let me reiterate the main points of this lesson. Number one, when you use the verb be, adverbs of frequency should be placed after the verb be. Number two, with a one-part verb, adverbs of frequency should go before the verb. And number three, when there is a helping verb followed by the main verb, then adverbs of frequency should go between the helping verb and the main verb. So now, are you able to answer the question I posed at the beginning of this lesson? Which sentence is correct? Number one or number two? Well, since there is only one main verb here, the rule number two applies. So sentence number one is the correct sentence. So before we finish, I want you to pick one of the rules we covered in this lesson and then write one example sentence in the comment section below. That's all there is for today. Thank you. And as always, I hope you have learned something today.